Hi, I'm Mr. Bean and you're watching Mr. Bean TV. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make an edible cell model. Now, edible is a word that means it's something you can eat. So today I'm going to do a breakfast cell model. And for my cell membrane, I'm going to use a tortilla. Now, the cell membrane is the part of the cell that lets things in and out of the cell. And inside every cell is cytoplasm. So for my cytoplasm, I'm going to use grape jelly because cytoplasm is a gelatin-like substance that's found inside the cell membrane, and that's the part that all the organelles uh, float in. Now I've got some jelly here, and I'm going to spread it around on my tortilla to represent my cytoplasm. For the nucleus, I'm going to use this donut. Now the sugar all over this donut is going to represent the cell membrane, I mean the nuclear membrane. And the donut is going to represent the nucleus. The hole, which actually in this donut is filled with sugar, is going to be the nucleolus. And for the chromosomes, which are the hereditary material found inside, I'm going to use these little candy sprinkles. Mm. Now the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. In this case, I'm going to use a piece of sausage. It's a mitochondria. Huh? It releases energy in the cell. Then, for ribosomes, I'm going to use pepper. Now, the ribosomes make proteins, and the proteins are carried around the cell through this folded membrane called endoplasmic reticulum. I'm going to use scrambled eggs to represent my endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum runs from the nucleus to the edge of the cell membrane. This one here is going to be smoothie art. It has no ribosomes on it. But, but this one back here is going to be rough ER. So I'm going to add some ribosomes to it. That's making it rough. Look at my cell model so far. Now, there's also an organelle called the Golgi body, and it's a folded membrane that packages things up and transports them around the cell. So I'm going to use some folded ham, because ham's a breakfast food, and I'm going to fold that up like that to represent my Golgi body. Now, I'm also going to have some vacuoles. For my vacuoles, I'm going to use donut holes. So I'm going to put Mm, well, one in there and one for me. Mm. And then for my lysosome, I'm going to use jalapeno peppers. Now the lysosome is the organelle that has the digestive juices in it. And it's surrounded by a membrane to keep those digestive juices from destroying the cell. But if something's wrong with the cell, it could open up that membrane and eat the cell. But sometimes it just will circle a vacuole or um, any kind of waste in the cell and eat that. So let's see. I have my cell membrane, my cytoplasm, my nucleus with the nucleolus and nuclear membrane, some sprinkles for my uh, chromosomes. I have pepper for my ribosomes, some scrambled eggs for my smooth ER and rough ER. The rough ER has the peppers on it. I've got some donut holes for my vacuoles, some sausage for my mitochondria, some folded turkey meat or ham for my Golgi body, and some lysosomes are represented by jalapeno peppers. Mmm, that's one nice breakfast burrito. It's an incredible edible cell model. You know, this one's for breakfast, but you could make one for dinner or lunch or even a dessert one. Think about that. For your cytoplasm, you could use peanut butter or marshmallow cream, something like that. Just think of all the things you could do to make a cell model that you could eat. Next time you're having a meal, I hope you'll try to make a cell out of what you're eating. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Join me again tomorrow for Mr. Bean TV.